Yes, Lord, the, the Lord to accept you right now. Oh, accept the mystery, To love on you right now. Venga mi vida, mi Dios. To come into your heart. Oh, accept the mystery. Hallelujah. Thank you, church, for coming on in with me here this hour, this minute, this second, this time. Amen. And truly just being exciting to see all the ways that God is speaking into our lives. Amen. I know we took a little bit of vacay there. We went down into Mexico. Amen. Ministering to the lives of family. And unfortunately, you know, the Wi-Fi, the internet, all these connections that we have, I believe it was just a social media break and truly just being able to get the things done, rocking the boat, amen. Um, we're coming into a new season, we're coming into a new frame, we're coming in into a new mind, amen. And really, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you even here today. But before we even go on, I just want to continually to flow into the Spirit here today. Amen. For your lives. You know, God is literally transitioning us. Um, you may feel that you're, you've walked through the mud. You're in the mud. Uh, you were drugged through the mud. Come on now. Um... There's a lot of things that are happening, amen. And there's so many temptations out there. There's so many things that is grabbing hold of your mind and grabbing hold of the situation that you may find yourself in here today, amen. And I believe that's the reason why I'm coming in with this word for your life here today. To bring a, a transformation, will you? And you know, there are times that we are on the download, amen? But that doesn't mean that we're getting the downloads. And I believe that all that was a transition of the giving of ourselves in different areas and different spectrums and different parts of our lives. You know, we have to continually to persevere. We have to continually to move, stretch forward with that mark, and continually to be a mark. In other words, continually to move forward, to be the legendary, to make the mark, and, and not only for you, reminding that this is also for your generations to come that we are stretching 
because we know that a lot of things, it's, it's wonderful when we see them at a site. It's totally different when we see them, when we're walking in them, and we can have them as well. Amen? But there has to be a transition of the mind. Amen? And so when I was taking some time there, based in, in the Word of God, He came back to me coming into this month about vision. Now, the last time that we talked and we came in on these lies, we were talking about writing the vision down, writing many things that you want to see and not just be on a safe boat, but also to, uh, we went into Dallas last week and really, you know, speaking to families as well, that we have to see where we're just, hey, I'm here. I'm standing. I'm saying, Lord, make a move because I'm about to make a move to be strong, to do what it is that you've called me out to do, whatever that might look like. And sometimes, you know, it's just like, when you tell your children to take out the trash, okay? And if you've repeatedly asked the child to take out the trash and they don't, they're laid back, they snooze, like they say, you snooze, you lose. And so when you're snoozing, you're saying, oh, I'll do it, oh, I'll get to it, but it never gets done. Unfortunately, the child that you have not said anything, you know what? They've gotten up for the day. They've made their mark. They did it. They've done it. They put a seal on it. And here all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, it was the child that, of course, you said or you asked. But how great it is that when you don't ask and it gets done. And see, that's how it is with the things of God. Because... I'm saying, you know what it is that God has called you out to do. But if you put it on the snooze button, guess what's going to happen? When you snooze, you lose. And so we're not here about snoozing it. We're here about conducting it. And even though, I just want to share this way across the board, that even though, check this out, church, even though you may not see me up front, come on now, uh, the shiny star, you know, really out there hitting it on the social media. But believe me, other things are happening. Other things are moving behind the, the scene. Other things are shifting along the way. They're through our third world countries. A lot of things that are happening. There's a lot of shaking going on. There's a lot of catapulting. There's a lot of moving forward in different areas that maybe we haven't seen, we haven't known. But I believe that God has brought me into a resting period. Come on now. And he knew that I was hitting it hard last year, coming into this year, hitting it hard in every services, on come Sunday, come Tuesday, come Thursdays, and all the different lives that were coming in on between. And the Lord said, you know what? Let me shift some things. Let me move some things. Let me show you how I can take you into these places, into these spaces, going into the families, going into visiting the families, uh, stretching and seeing the hand of God move upon my life and truly seeing, look, I'm meeting your needs. These are all going to be according to God's plan, God's riches and God's glory. I know how to take you there. I know how to move you there. I know how to bring you into the next places. Now, let me tell you, church, I know people have been knocking at my door and they've been wanting that help. They've been needing that help. But I haven't truly felt the guidance of God is saying, go and and go into those other areas when God is saying, 
I've already placed a foundation for you. Now I can go and visit, but I'm telling you, I can't be there to stay. I can go up there to lift up some hands for a while maybe, but I can't be there to stay. So I'm very strategic at different things in what I do in my time of vulnerability, my time of openness, my time of saying, you know what, there's a time also in ministry as well as there's a time there as well as for my family and my loved ones. And we just always dedicated on the outskirts that God is saying, I want you to focus now in the enter in your places and spaces here where you live, uh, the places and the spaces where I'm taking you, where you're talking, and 